of an unexpected video in terms of time because I thought I wouldn't be able to film this video until later this week. However, I do have a oh wait, used up video for you. I have my beloved Mulberry bag and it is full of stuff and um, a lot of this is in here since quite a while and I thought I would like I wanted to collect some more stuff because in the beginning it was just shampoos and body washes and body lotions but in the last couple of days I gathered quite a few more things so I just get going but otherwise I think it will become too long. The first two items as usually I have a shampoo in here and it's the Garnier Natural Beauty Balm Shampoo with Vanilla Milk and Papaya Extract shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's not my favorite in terms of uh, volume because this one doesn't give volume. This makes your hair incredibly smooth um, but volume wise my hair is just too smooth afterwards so I like if I use it I use it on weekends for example or if I know I want to put my hair um, up like in, like now then it doesn't really matter. Um, I love the vanilla scent and I buy, I repurchase this since years, about once or twice a year and use it every once in a while. But in terms of, of volume and stuff, this is not the best for my hair. But it is, well, it is for long hair, which is being in use. I love the scent and I love the shampoo and even though it's not good in terms of volume, I repurchase it. Um, I have two body washes. One is the Fiji Passion Fruit Shower Gel Body Wash from Balea and this is 300 mils. I think it costs 65 cents or 85 euro cents. It's incredibly cheap and they always, this is a limited edition, they always come out with other scents. Um, this one was a really fruity, summerly Fiji Passion Fruit. I mean, that just says it all. They have amazing products and I think you can't go wrong for the money. Then I finished um, another shower gel from Bath & Body Works from their holiday traditions line, the Winter Candy Apple, and I actually have a backup of this. I wish I would have the Vanilla Bean instead because this was not that special. It's just a very sweet body wash. I got a bit carried away by the whole holiday line. My mom and my sister, they went and sniffed all over the store and I was just in a total ho holiday mood in November when we were there and I just bought all winter scents and I wished maybe I would have gone a bit more diverse. I mean, they have flowery skin scents, they have fruity scents, they have sweet scents, they have everything and I just stuck to the whole winter line and like I said, I have the same one once more, but maybe I give it to someone as a present. And then to finish off with body products, I finished um, the first one of the Nivea In Shower Body Milk Skin Conditioner. I like to use the one for dry skin and I absolutely love this one. I have, I bought four or five backups and it works and is that like super 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 nourishing like because I have very very dry shin so if I want to wear a skirt then I make sure to maybe put some body butter on top but especially this will come especially handy in the winter because I hate to put on lotion in the winter anymore so love this bought a backup can highly recommend it um, definitely give it a try then I have two um, cleansers and one is um, the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser, another one of those. I've talked about those before, I love them, it's my holy grail when it comes to cleansers and I have repurchased, I will repurchase and I love it and I love it, I love it. And then I was able to try out the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Free in One Purifying Micellar Solution, it's a makeup remover which is supposed to be a Bioderma dupe. We don't have this here in Denmark, so I bought it at the airport in Frankfurt. And I paid seven, seven euros, I think, which is overpriced. I think in a regular drugstore, it's 3.99, so four euros. Um, however, considering that I paid seven euros and it's 200 mils, and in a Bioderma, Bioderma I get for around 15 euros, for 500 mils, this is actually more expensive. Um, 
of course, like I said, and if you buy it in the regular drugstore, it's only four euros, but still, like it's not the cheapest makeup remover. Let's just put it that way. Um, it didn't make me break out, didn't burn my eyes. Exactly, those are the two things I prefer in a makeup remover. However, it also didn't fully remove my makeup. Bioderma is still a tad bit better. I always had the feeling that something was left on my skin. It is a nice makeup remover, and I don't like the oily ones. And so, if you if you don't like the the Too Faced makeup removers, I mean, give it a try. I mean. All what can happen is that it makes you break out, which didn't happen for me, or that you don't like it. So, I mean, with four euros, I think it's still fair to, to just give it a try, but um, it's not a bioderma dupe for me, unfortunately. Then I have two hair products. Um, one of them is something I have to get rid of because my hair just can't take it. And it's the Kerastase um, Leaf in Shimmering Protective Care Spray. Um, I got this in a goodie box and there's actually some, some glimmer glitter stuff in here. This leaves my hair incredibly greasy. It's not an oil, it is a spray. And even if I really just spray two, three times, it leaves my hair greasy. greasy. I can take it. I love the idea of this. Of this. Um, my mom, who has very, very dry hair, will probably love this, so I'm not going to throw this away. I'm actually going to give this to my mom. Um, and then I finished up a small size of the Extreme Hold Hairspray from Osis. Um, I love the small sizes because I don't really use a lot of hairspray, except if I have my hair up like this. Um, but yeah, and it doesn't happen too often. And it's so windy in Copenhagen that even a lot of hairspray is not worth it. Anyway, um, yeah, I love the small sizes. There's nothing really I can say about this. It's just a hairspray, so yes. Okay. Then I have some face products. One is my Bird's Bees Radiance Night Cream with Royal Jelly, which I finished. It's I had um, a sample size with 30 grams and the full size is 80, uh, 55 grams, sorry. So I used 85 grams in total, so quite a lot. I love this one. I have another one in backup. No, it doesn't. It usually smells well, but this doesn't anymore. But I have another one which is already in use, which I love. And um, this is also a product I've been using since one and a half years now and I will probably repurchase this. And then I tried a trial size of the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Eye Balm because I'm actually using the one from Origins right now, which I absolutely hate, but I want to use it up because it was expensive. And I got this in between because I ordered something uh, in a German online store. And yeah, it was a decent size. It was... Let me see how much free mills, but it was it came in a in a pot, so it was it was okay. It wasn't it's as the lauder, so I'm not sure if I want to pay as much for that kind of a product. I think next time when the other one is finally finished, uh, the one from Origins, I think I will look for Kiehl's eye lotion. So if you have any recommendations for eye lotions, either with Kiehl's or with Origins then please drop them below because I'm looking for an eye lotion. Um, and I would prefer one which does not only deep puff, but which is also anti-age, anti anti-wrinkles. anti, -age, anti -wrinkles. Because I am 30 years old, so um, it's not like I have a lot of wrinkles, but... Um, then I used up a small pocket size of the Winter and Spice, Van Winter Spice and Vanilla Antibacterial Hand Gel from Bath & Body Works. Smells delicious. I have two more of those in different scents though and I love those little pocket antibacterial gels. And I love that it doesn't smell, that it actually does smell like something. Then I'm throwing away the Kiehl's lip gloss in French Rose because it just looks very gross and I've never really used it. I don't like the opening too much. It's one of those plastic holy thingies and it just looks gross. I have this since like three years. Never really used it, so it can go. Then I finished um, one of the Tarte Smolder Ice Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. Um, 
liners in gunmetal. It was my absolute favorite. The color is basically like the Maybelline color tattoo in on and on bronze. And this is gunmetal and this is basically a, an eyeliner stick. So this was nice to just like use on the lower waterline as well to just smudge it. Because I think it's a bit hard to make a smoky eye out of the the color tattoos. So this is nice. Th this was really nice to put it to put on. I have five of those which I bought in a set, by the way. And now I have lots of hairs in here. Wherever, let's throw them on the floor. I have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five mascaras which I used up. Two small sizes. One of them is the they are real from Benefit. Um, not my favorite, I don't like the brush at all, it's one of the rubber brushes uh, so I didn't like to use it a lot, however the small sample sizes are amazing for traveling especially if you really just want to take um, a very few things with you. Then a mascara which I'm going to buy in full size as soon as possible, as soon as I used up all my other ones. It's the Smashbox Full Ex Exposure Mascara and it has a The brush looks quite big, but it's actually just very wide and not big in general. Um, this was an amazing mascara, I just dried out now, used up, so I have to get rid of it. But I loved it and this is one of the mascaras I want to buy as full size for sure. Another one I used up and as a mascara I use since years and it's the High Impact Mascara from Clinique. They have a waterproof version now and even though I don't like waterproof ones, um, I'm tempted to try it out and they also have like an extra volume one and I love this one it's, it's also dried out that's why I had like now I decided to like put it away um, because it's it tugs on my lashes which just shows that it's dried out um, it has a normal small not very special brush but it I really like to use it and then I'm getting rid of two mascaras um, from Essence. It's the I Love Extreme Volume Mascara and the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I got those together and I tried this one three times. I gave it free, free runs and I didn't like it at all. Um, there's still a lot inside. Like I said, I didn't use it, but look at this brush. It's so big. I smudged it all over. I didn't like the brush, so I'm going to throw this away. I don't want to give like halfway used mascaras to other people. Um, and the other one is a mascara I'm going to repurchase as soon as possible because I absolutely love it. It's the Crazy Volume one and this is just very, it's empty and dried out by now. I used it all of June and July and last week I said okay I have to get rid of it because it, it really, it's really dryish and this was really like I was brushing my my lashes basically and it was really tugging on my lashes because it's just so so dried out now but this is an amazing mascara and I love it um, quality wise it's not the best it starts like it gives you black smudges on up on the top here and it starts crumbling after a while and it's not even though it's not a waterproof mascara um, you need waterproof makeup remover to remove it which is a bit stupid in a way but um, how your lashes look afterwards it's absolutely amazing so if you can get your hands on the essence I love extreme crazy volume mascara try it out because you can beat this price yes and those were my used up products for well not for the month month of August because I just do used up videos when I have enough to show you but this is I think my used up video number Free number four. Um, should you have any questions regarding the pro uh, the products, drop me a message below. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.